Uh, it's good to be you. It's really good to be you. And so I want you to love yourself. There's a few things I want to get you uh, in the spiritual gift lane uh, right off the bat. I want you to receive this really cool spiritual gift that I got this morning. And and I get it a lot of mornings. I mean, I wake up and I see God in my room. I see God himself standing in my room. We're sitting in my room. And if he's sitting in a rocking chair, that means he has my baby spirit in his arms. Okay. Your baby spirit is the little spirit you were born with. And God loved this baby spirit so much. I mean, it is a big deal being a human being born here on the planet Earth. Uh, we take it quite for granted because a lot of people are born here on the planet Earth, but it's actually a really big deal. Heaven it gets excited. They celebrate every time a little baby's born. And so, so when your little baby spirit was born, uh, God celebrated and he was so happy and he loves, 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 loves your baby spirit. And so if you're having a hard time loving yourself, and so sometimes today, it's one of the hardest things to do is to love yourself. And it really is because everybody's telling you who you're not instead of who you are. It, you know, it, it's hard to not just mess up something. I mean, as busy as we all are. Uh, and so people are telling you, you who you're not instead of who you are. And and uh, you're telling yourself who you're not. And so I don't want you to do that. So this is the most important thing you can do. Uh, it really is. So I want you to ask God, just say, God, can you please give me my baby spirit? Close your eyes if you need to. And imagine God handing you a little baby. And I want you to just take this baby spirit, take it. There we go. There we go. Here, all of you got it. That's pretty cool. And so just pull it into you. And when you pull it into you, you're going to start to smile just a little bit inside. And because you'll be able to love yourself. And I want you guys to love you. I really do. I want you to love you. If you can't love you, you can't love me. So selfishly love you. <laughs> okay. I want you to love you. And so when you love yourself, it really is easy to love other people. And sometimes these days, it's a little hard to love everybody, especially the people we're supposed to love our family. You know, did I say family, 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 you know, but, but really realistically, I mean, you, you got to love your family. You really do. And so in spite of them and so, and your best buddies and your best friends, you just got to love them. That's what they're for. They're for loving. That's what you do. And so when you get your little baby spirit, it's really easy to love. So let's start off the show by doing that. Anyway, and now you, I see you guys feeling a whole lot better, a whole lot warmer. Michelle, you feel warm and fuzzy. That was kind of cool for you. I saw it. What'd that feel really like? Hot. Really hot. You're really hot? Oh, yep. I got really hot because, you know, the air is literally on us. And um, all of a sudden, when you said, just say, I am, I said, I am. And then I just started getting hot. And everything you were saying, I'm like burning up right now. <laughs> I don't That's know awesome. You well, you yeah. needed it. So you need oh, it. Yeah, you yeah. actually, yeah. I'm like really hot. Yeah. On um, fire. <laughs> yeah. I could feel it. I could feel oh, you just hell. getting. Let me throw my water on you. <laughs> 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 thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Gary. Throw yes. some holy water on her. See if she catches on fire. <laughs> but anyway, but it, it's like, but it, it was it was really crazy because I could feel I could feel that permeating out of you. And thank and you. so and so that just means your your love buttons up. You know, that's good. You're a love bug. It's easy for you to love. Thank it's you. Easy, you love but, yeah, you really do. Do you ever run out? You ever run out of juice? Nope. <laughs> God, I just find a way to get more. <laughs> isn't, isn't that really cool? Isn't that really, yeah. we all got to, we got to work to be you. I'm going to be you when I grow up. <laughs> that's a, that's a perfect Thanks, thing. That's a, that's a perfect thing to be, you know, Aww. Dean, you're lucky. You're no, lucky. I'm very lucky. I say that every day. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah, lucky. I don't know about that, Michelle. But <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm lucky. <laughs> no, that's really, really good. I think that's good. I think we all need to be lucky. We really do. Uh, to, to you know, some of you guys are looking for a soulmate, too. You're trying to catch one, right? And trying to catch a soulmate. Uh, and to catch a soulmate, what you got to do, you got you to gotta have a lot of love. You got to have this love vibe going. And, and so if you start out with that baby spirit, let me tell you. That'll really work. That'll really help you out. And so I found like a lot of these really divine gifts that are coming down are so amazing. 
Uh, and, and when I get full of these things every day, I just kind of go along and zing along through the day. And I, I, I see a lot of crazy miracle stuff happening. And so I really appreciate you guys. Um, a lot of you guys book private readings. You know, we extended our special last week where we're actually reading you and I'm giving you 15 minutes of energy clearing time along with your, if you book a 30 minute reading or if you book an hour, it's the same equivalent, a half hour of, of energy stuff. And so, but the energy stuff is the most important, I believe. And and so many times, uh, many times when people book private readings with me, uh, they they you know they try to get in all those questions. And but the biggest deal is if I can just fix you, and 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 I really can. So I'm having a lot of fun just watching how high you guys go. I mean, when I work with you in private readings, I am freaking out at all the stuff you guys can do because you go so high and you get all these spiritual gifts that, that a lot of times I've got from doing a show or reading or meditating or hanging out in heaven um, in Zion heaven, the highest heaven. And so, so, but you guys get those gifts these days really, really easy, but this is an important thing to do because in your life works good. And so, and if you're interested in your life working good, call now. I'm at, and I figured out that if I work on Sundays for you guys, because you guys are off on Sunday, some of you guys, uh, it is a really good thing. And so tomorrow I decided to work again on Sunday. And so if you call Dean through the show, just call 800-827-GARY, uh, or you can also log on to GarySpivey.com, leave a message, we'll call you back, uh, but 800-827-4279, and Dean will answer the phone and book you a reading tomorrow. We, I wasn't, I wasn't going to work tomorrow, and then I decided, I feel really good, I'm going to work tomorrow, and so so for you guys who need some work, uh, call and book a reading for tomorrow uh, and and uh, or this week, and I'll extend that special where I give you a half hour reading. I'll give you a 45 minutes for a half hour reading and 15 minutes worth of just you getting healed up. Uh, this healing thing is so important, so, so important, because then you're in a different gear. You're in a different game. It's, it's a different game for you, and it's so important to use those spiritual gifts. Let me talk to Richard Rubish. I want to talk to him to see what he's up to. You know? Okay. Yeah. I feel like he's had breakthroughs. I, I can always tell when I see people and and they're going through something and they're they're, they're going through like, you know, breakthroughs and whatever's going on. And so. All right. Go ahead and unmute, Richard. How are you? It's good to see you. Good. How are you doing? Good hey, buddy. You. How are you? I can tell you're going you through go. something. I can tell you're going through some breakthrough where you feel better. You feel really yes. good. What yeah, is that? Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, it's just uh, the energy is just feeling pretty fabulous. You know, like um, some of the things that you've done, you know, on the Wednesdays, I've really connected with them. The abundant one this last Wednesday, the one before that um, just connected really well. And like, I can see my my healing is really exponentially working very well, and I feel great. Isn't it's it great? Better. Yes. Yeah, you know, it, it, I could tell when I when I was looking at, it, I was reading you, and I could tell you had had breakthroughs. And and so when and see these, this is what it's kind of all about right now, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can push through a breakthrough. And, and so as you do, you're going to find you feel really great. And so rather than feeling brain fog, everybody tells, what is wrong with my brain? I feel like I'm in a funk, you know, and because you are. But once you go into these divine gifts, you actually get above it and then it's all good. And so, so, but I saw you, I saw you in that space. So I'm really proud that I, that, and, and you're agreeing with me with what I saw, yeah. which is nice. yes. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice, though? Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. It feels fabulous. And, yeah, because of, and because I feel that way, I'm getting a lot of projects done that I've been like, that are like, been on the back burner. And I'm like working on them and getting and completing them, which makes me feel even better. You know, that, that, you know, we all got that stuff we're putting on. Right. Because we are idiots, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but whatever it is. 
uh, yeah, I found that I that I could lean into things. This last few weeks, I've been able just to lean right into it, you know. And I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited about everything I do, and and I'm excited about every person I talk to. And so, but I'm excited you're looking that good. When I look at you, there's there's a gift of abundance that's coming down to you right now, and it's oh, a big, yeah. it's a big gigantic. Is see, if I get a gift, you're gonna get a gift if you talk to me. And, and this is a big giant diamond. I see it going around your body and there it goes. And it just, I'm helping it come down, but there we go. There we go. And there we Thank go. You Thank how, you how does that, how does that feel? Feels good. Okay. It feels good. like, uh, like you just feel elated. Like you, that like you want to go out and party. Okay. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, I'll meet you. I'll meet you. <laughs> so there we are. And so, so, but you're, you know, what I saw, I saw this big giant diamond come down, um, which is a gift of abundance and a gift of protection. And I see you inside this diamond. And so it's a diamond field energy. I, I never had a week where I saw so much of this coming down. So it's a really powerful week, you know, with, with that. And so uh, you guys, I highly recommend you piggyback off of Richard's gift. Uh, imagine yourself getting this diamond gift. Imagine it going around your body. This is really, really a big gift. And so, and you'll, you'll see how big, because you'll just get real lucky. And so there we are. Perfect. All right, Richard. Thanks. Talk Thank to you, you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Richard. You, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. That was cool. Oh, he's that awesome. was cool. I knew he had something going. I knew he had a, this, you know, you can tell, you know, there's this vibe where people are like, okay, I'm in, you know, I'm high. I got high now. That's, that's really, really good. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Let me just look around. Let me, let's look around. I just want to talk to you guys and, and see what you got going on. Let me talk to Peter. Let me talk to Peter Lopez, my buddy. Let me see what he's doing. Peter, what are you doing? I think he's got you. Have you got to where you can see and hear way better? You know, because I'm seeing, you know, whoops, you're unmute, unmute real quick. You know? Yeah. Hi, Peter. Hello. Hey. hey, buddy. Yeah, things are looking up. Oh, good. It feels like, mm -hmm. yeah. When I, you know, when I look at you, I see a God matrix in your head and in your heart. Uh huh. And so, and so I think that's just beautiful. You know, that makes me how that makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. That makes me happy. And so well, I received make a really beautiful gift. Uh, I'm glad I got that because I always ask for God matrix in my head and in my heart and then okay. one in my heart and expand. So it's funny that you say that. Oh, okay. Well, there, okay. I can just, I'm just yeah. seeing what's there. So you yeah, asked for yeah. that, you got that. I'm seeing what that is, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, and so that that's how we figured out all this stuff in the very beginning with Dean and I, when we wrote the book, your keys to heaven, uh, because I could see spiritually, he could see spiritually, we'd see the same thing and we go, okay, must be there, yeah. you know? And, and so when you and I are now doing the same thing and, yeah. and so, but that's, that's a beautiful thing, but I just see you really, are, uh, it, it's a thought away for you. You can actually, you're, you're a thought away from things, just being any way you want them to be. Mm -hmm. And so, and so that is amazing. And I'm I wanted so to share a gift too, that came through. Okay, please. Yeah. Um, what is it? Um, Jesus came to me today and he gave me the gift of the Atlantean crystal. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So I don't know if you feel that around me or it just felt really good for me. I just wanted to share that. So I guess I have connection with that, with the Atlantean. The back, of my, the back of my head is on fire. My God cord is on fire. He came to me today too. I got this mm -hmm. crazy. Interesting. You know, I, I got all these, all these uh, special gifts, uh, crosses today. And, all right. uh, and so it was, it was like this, this crazy energy. Uh, but in healing, uh, he gave me the like many more gifts of healing. So I get, I get teary when I talk about it. And, and the ability to heal people who need healing and heal myself. Uh, and, and so it was just a beautiful thing. So he's very active on the planet right now. And, and so, uh, and sometimes he is, and, and sometimes he's not. You know, like I see him, like, you know, sometimes I see him a lot, a lot, and sometimes I don't, and I see him up in the heavens, uh, but he's really down here hanging out, doing stuff. This Atlantean crystal thing, it comes from an ancient um, heaven, and it powers, yes. In other words, it, it is like an ultimate um, power, 
Mm-hmm. And, and it's really, really, when I, when I got it, you know, thank you for, for bringing it in. Uh, mm-hmm. And when I got it, got it from you, the back of my head's on fire. Mm-hmm. And so all you guys should get this gift. Yeah. This is a yeah. Really sharing. Gift. That, was, yeah. that was beautiful. Yeah. Cause, cause I feel I have that connection with Atlantis a little bit. Yeah. Well, you yeah. always, you always yeah. have had, and, but I see this beautiful rainbow now color around you and going out and permeating to everybody. Mm-hmm. So, how about a big thank you? Thank you, Peter. Thank yeah. you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank Christ. Thank you for calling me and allowing me to share with everybody. Thank hey, you. Lots of love to all of I you. I love you. I love you. Can't mm-hmm. wait to see you. Can't wait to see you at the retreat. Yeah, it's Can't around wait. the corner. Hey, yeah. it is. It is. And big, all hug. You guys, big hug to yeah. everybody. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. I did want to share one more thing. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Please. Um, every time I meditate, okay? Yeah. I start with your latest uh, healing um, that you do every Wednesday. It's posted. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So that's you know, it. important for me to share that for, for everybody. Well, well, you, you know, I think it must be working incredibly well because I, I, I've i heard a bunch of people say exactly that, that that's what they're doing. And it really is kicking in and working. So um, I, I get to, you know, I get those messages every Wednesday when I do the energy clearing with all you guys that are in the online club. If you're not in it, get in it. And and uh, join us for energy clearing every Wednesday, and that is really powerful because uh, God mm-hmm. gives me the spiritual gift of to clear whatever is the demon of the day, the demon du jour, and also gives me the gift of the day, whatever that gift is. And so, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, Peter. I'll talk to you. Yes. I look Send love you. to everybody. Bye. Yeah, and you Thank guys, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not signed up for the, the retreat, you can. There's still time, uh, and uh, this one I think will sell out. I'm usually pretty good at figuring out when when they will, and so go ahead and book your retreat. It is October twelfth, uh, right? 12th. Guys? Yep, October twelfth, yeah. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Thursday through Sunday. In yeah. Troy, North Carolina, you get to see Ooh. Gary's home. <laughs> yeah, we get to hang out. We get to hang out. You know, we eat a lot. Did I mention we eat a lot? Did I mention we eat a lot? <laughs> we cook a lot. A lot. Have, have yeah, fun. We, we have fun. There, we mu- We have music. We have food. We have, you know, we get enlightened. Uh, and, and it's kind of crazy because when you first get here, I try to clear all the demons off of you. And then it's amazing because everybody is, is it's easy to be one. And so you're with all these people that are just one and you're, you you know, you guys, I I hear this over and over again. And Michelle, you hear this over and over again. And it, where people just say, these are the best people I've ever seen. Well, they're not possessed and they're, and they're one with you. And so, so everybody becomes best buddies and one. And so all you guys that come to retreats are all friends. And, you know, I hear you you meeting up in this city or that city or hanging out with each other. And I think that's, that's beautiful. And yeah. so, oh, Michelle, who, who have we got? Who we got? Oh, well, spe- well, real quick, since you're talking about the retreat, I want to get Terry. I know we always bought lighter, but Terry Mahoney, I want to get you real quick. <laughs> she's, she's always at every retreat and we love her. Terry, yeah. you're so Bye. awesome. You do so much for us. Bye. And for, and Bye. for everybody and for everybody, yes. you, you just do you stuff just for everybody. Thank you. That's how we're supposed to do. Yes. Yeah. There's Great. like a half a dozen of us. I couldn't go because I had to work that are at Mount Shasta right now. Oh, and they're all nice. taking pictures. They went out dancing in downtown San Jose last night. Awesome. They're, Good. I couldn't believe some people from Minnesota, some people from North Carolina, from Vegas, LA. I'm like, oh Gus is out there. How Gus is cool. out there with you guys, right? Yep, I'm not yeah, there. I talked to him it. on the phone and gave him a little bit of lip, and you know. Oh, good, <laughs> good, good, honey. Good. So well, I hope, well, I hope they're all having fun. I I feel like they are. I feel like they are. And and so so, uh, what you got going? What you got happening? What's going on with you? You know, I just keep getting more confirmations that you know, whatever we put out there, even in the slightest way, answers come. Quick. And and so and you you and I talked recently about this and it's not big and it's sometimes it's big and sometimes it's little. I, I lent my camper to one of us going to Burning Man and then it rained and it was, you know, torrential and people got stuck and there was no service. So I I didn't know how they were doing. God, I go, I wonder how they're doing. I haven't heard from him. 
let me go check the news and see what the news says. Boom. One of the people is being interviewed on the news as I checked. Okay. Oh, wow. And then um, what's the other thing? I, I said to you, um, did you know that they're playing some of JV's stuff on the radio? And you go, oh, yeah, I asked Elvis. He asked if it would work and would people like it and they'd like it. But it was something you were wondering if he ever did it. And I got to hear it and tell you. I know. Yeah, that was so, true. Yeah. And then, you know, recently I'm wondering. So I, it always comes to me since I've been hearing about sending people to the light that either died um, suicide or under too much medication. And I had a girlfriend named Donna that OD'd. And, um, and I think I tried to send her to the light but I couldn't remember. And I fell asleep wondering if I had, and she came to me in a dream. And I was wow. actually with my ex-husband in our old house. And she wow. comes to the door and I go, Donna, how are you? She goes, not good, Terry, not good. So I want to know if, if she was able to get to the light. Let you look at her. She's sort of in the middle. Okay. Uh, She's in the middle. She's was she very stubborn? Oh fuck! Excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I'm sorry. Oh my! I yeah. mean, like yeah, but she was she know. was like she was the f word stubborn. She was really yes. Stubborn. I call so it stupid stubborn. Yeah, stupid stubborn. And, and so, but that's what I see. Um, and so, um, sometimes it's really hard to get those people to the light. Uh, let oh, me show you. The, let me show you the trick. Okay. Okay. Uh, ask the angel Michael for his net. So Angel we Michael, Michael we need your net to get Donna Donna Jean Anderson up to the light. Oh, I just yeah. got chills all over. Yeah, he, he netted her. Okay, and now he took. Bye. Her. <laughs> Crazy there we girl. go. <laughs> yeah, and so there we are, and that's oh, what you do. Wow. That's good. Now look how good you feel. It's crazy good inside. Good. Yeah. Yeah, because she feels good. Yeah, when you got an earthbound spirit in your energy field, oh my God, it's a it's a nightmare. It really does okay. beat you up. And so, but, but uh, now you did her a big favor. And so, but when they're, when they're real, real stubborn uh, on earth, they're real stubborn mm -hmm. when they're dead uh, and it's hard to get them. Sometimes they just won't go. Uh, so you have to ask the angel Michael for his magical net and he's got a golden net. He throws around them and takes them. And so that's what he, okay. There you are. Thank you. Hey, yep. can I share that gift that I told you that I got? What'd you get? Um, we, I shared it with you a little bit. I, I usually listen to you at night and, and my meditations, I was too lazy to get up. So I did my own little meditation and, um, and God gave me, um, a gift. I didn't know what it was. It really looks like, um, a Northeast, like a, a you know, one of those gauges. What do you call that? Yep. Compass. But it has crystals coming out of it everywhere. Right. And then I wonder what that's for. And all of a sudden I'm watching one of these dumb Hallmark princess movies and they tell me what it is. And it was a gift from Jesus. And it's, they said it was um, the gift of peace. Nice. And, and it, I, you said it was really powerful and it, it is, I can, every time I think about it, but it's got these four directions and these triangles and it's kind of like tree shape, but four directions with yeah. every it, emerald. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 got a north, south, east, west angel, uh, okay. and this will and and these these energies from that particular spiritual gift um, uh -huh. will actually lead you in your direction. Uh -huh. So it it really okay. is like it's like a compass. Uh, there's many of these that are are duplicated. Uh, if you if you run around Europe to all the big cathedrals in Europe. A lot of times that is duplicated and they have a little sliver of the original cross um, that is a relic in it. And so, but that's the reliquary. I see that sometimes. And so, so, but it's really, or like Troy Hill Chapel, which I always tell you guys to go to up in Pittsburgh, you know, yeah. uh, it has all these relics. And so, but, but that's, uh, that's a very powerful one. And so there's a lot of Christ stuff going on right now, more so than I've seen ever actually. And so, wow. so that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. And I see wow. Christ. I see the Christ spirit just slipping into your body right now. There it goes. Feel that? God, that feels good. really good. 
really good. There. It feels like, oh my God, that's yeah. better than sex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Well, I don't know, but it's close. <laughs> anyway, so there we are. <laughs> anyway. That relaxing feeling like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. You can rest in that. Yeah, that feels really good. And so there we hey, go. Is it, is it normal? Like when we got our baby spirit, I, I can pick up on genres and energy like, oh, that feels like the 60s. So I was born in the 60s. Right. And um, I got my baby spirit and it felt like like the energy i was feeling at the time was what i consider 60s energy but you'll feel what was going yeah and so okay. you'll, 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 feel, you, you'll feel that era you know for me my baby spirit i, I feel um you know a, a primitive crib uh and a, you know and i grew up in my grandmother's house which was 200 years old and which is old and and so and it was it, in and i grew up in in this very very old house um and um you know we weren't wealthy we were very poor um no indoor plumbing and we, sometimes when the wind would blow you'd have to put tissue in the cracks of the walls so the wind didn't blow through the house and so so this is you know a lot of times people think well you, you know you probably grew up pretty good no no i grew up pretty poor um and and so but i learned to appreciate a lot of things i think because of that and and so but i i get a sense of that very humble real um beginning you know and and so nice. and it's, it was a crazy feeling, you know, it's just a really good feeling. So anyway, yeah, I think you go back to when you get your baby spirit, you go back to what was happening during that baby time in a good way, not in a bad way. And so, so, so there we go. Good luck. I love you. All right. Thank you, Terry. We love you. Appreciate it. Can't wait to see, see you. you can't, yeah. Can't wait to see you at the retreat. If you guys aren't booked for the retreat, uh, please book, you know, just call Michelle 702-822-0548. Four eight. Four eight. Yeah, good job. Eight. I remembered it there. Yeah. Seven, and four, you know, it's eight. funny, don't mean to interrupt you, but when you said something about the Christ energy, uh, I've been going to the church here almost, almost what, uh, every other day with Dean's mom. And I've been starting to pray like the rosary uh, and stuff. St. Michael's? Right. Yeah, St. Michael's. I love it. It's my favorite I do church. <laughs> I, so, I love, I love, 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 love that church. I mean, I love yeah. that church so much that I, I wanted to, to really take a picture of the the beautiful uh, artwork of Michael oh. when you walk in the the door. I, I'll take I, pictures I, for you. Take a picture. Take a picture uh, okay. because I, I wanted to have that painting duplicated, okay. right? Because yeah. I really I love it that much. Oh, That's a, okay. A, it, it's an amazing painting, and when I walk in, it actually heals you as soon as you walk through the door of this church. Oh, and this this church is yes. old, you feel right? It. You, yeah, it's it's old, and it you feel it. The energy is amazing. Yeah, and, and so this is in beautiful Convent, Louisiana. Yeah, and, and so I know to get you for your birthday, December third. Yeah. I mean, December fifth. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. No, I love that. But but yeah. some a lot of times see art. People don't realize when you when you have a real piece of art, um, it it actually speaks to you, and it it will it will it will sometimes have a relationship with you. Uh, and so when you have a lot of art, you have a lot of a lot of relationships and a lot of soul. Um, when always when I'm over, you know, at Richard and Alice Maskin's house over in Ohio. Hey guys, I see you guys on. And and so uh it, it's it's amazing because there's so much art in the house that you sit there and you just get high. You've done that, Michelle, when you we stay there, you know, it's like yes, I love you, them. I love their artwork. Oh, but you just <laughs> get high. Smithsonian. <laughs> yeah. They, and, and so, but they are just amazing. And so the these these pieces of art uh really you when you do art, art comes down from heaven. Uh, it's created from 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 the heavens and they bring it down and then they there you are and so uh let me talk to alice let me talk to alice i, was, I already had my spotlight ready to hey alice can her. i talk to you guys hey there i'm you reading are. your mind gary <laughs> hi alice oh alice is that patricia richard. and there's Pat yeah alice richard. richard patricia hey guys how are hi, you, you? Angela. angela hey my girl oh, angela. Hi, angela. Yay. Hey. 
You guys are eating dinner without me. How did you do that? <laughs> oh. you. Put some watermelon. watermelon. <laughs> yes, please. Please. <laughs> please. So all you guys are freaky artists. All of you guys are all of you guys. I don't know about freaky, but you're artists. Well, <laughs> you know what? I I watch you as you create these masterpieces, and Angela, you too, and you guys. And, and so when you make this stuff, you know, I I see you entranced. You know, and Alice, when you're painting in your studio, you're entranced. You're totally like, you know, like, what's that like? What's it like when you do this? I don't know. I'm not there. <laughs> you really aren't, right? No, I'm somewhere else. I don't know where I am. I'm in a very silent space, a very kind of meditative space. So you look kind of blissful. I, well, I'm totally blissful. Yeah, she does. And yeah. Beautiful, it's too. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Stand back and look what I've done. I go, oh my God, did I do that? How could I do that? I don't know how I did that, you know. I love it. I love it. And when, when Richard creates, when he does, he does amazing sculptures. Uh, and so, and I'm lucky enough to have one. Thank you guys for giving it to me. And so, but I, 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 I love them, you know, I just love them, you know? And so, and so anyway, and so Patricia, you, so, so um, how's the, how's, how's the man? How's the man? How's the, how's the man coming? Um, in the ethers. Okay. Have you talked to it? <laughs> no, Have you I talked? Was, no, because I haven't really been guided to yet. I, I it'll happen in a couple of weeks. I really feel that. Okay. I got warm when you said I got really warm when you said that. I got oh. really warm. That is, that means that's true. Yeah. So so but don't don't like do something else, you know. You know, don't go into love ADD or something, you know, like 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 <laughs> this, this guy could be a real deal for you. I like him. I really do. You know, I I I I ambushed you last week on the show and and called you out, you know, and you hadn't even told Alice about it, which is, you know, oh, you know, anybody, you know. Didn't know or, or Angela or Yeah. Or anybody. Uh, anybody. Or oh, she's, she's keeping it a secret. Yeah. And so well, I think he's I think he's a great new guy on the horizon. I I, I like him and I like him and, and and I like him. And so that's what I see. So I think he could be really good for you and he could help ground you, which would be amazing, <laughs> you know. And so you may stay in the same hemisphere or the same country for more than one minute, you know. And, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that'd be new for you. As, but I feel very, very good about him. I really do. You know, he he has a nice soul connection. He's afraid you don't like him. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. so, <laughs> so don't play hard to get. Just turn the volume. Okay. All right. You guys got to nudge her. Alice, push her. You're a good pusher. Jack was God pushing knows me last night. Well, you're pushing. Oh, Richard, you're pushing her? Oh, good. Yeah. All yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what she needs. She needs a little cheerleaders here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a willing customer. I could, if I was in Ohio, I would go on a date with you, with the guy. I would go on a date. <laughs> I would be, you know, and better yet, take Alice and Richard and right. we could all go on a date <laughs> with this guy. We could be, we could be your surrogate, uh, what do you call them? Surrogate uh, date. What, what's, what is it? Cheerleaders? <laughs> oh, I heard of, anyway, whatever it is. But but you would you you I think you gotta just turn the volume up a little bit. That's what I see. And say so, when I said that, I felt you get slightly warm inside your body, you know. And so just go for it. That's what I see. Anyway. I I okay, you gotta give us a progress, progress report next week. She checks every minute. <laughs> I know. You know. Right now on your program. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's all you got to push her. <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you guys. That's that's it. Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. <laughs> that's it. No, I, I feel good about him. I really, really do. I think he wants to take you on some pretty cool trips. I know how much you like to travel, so that's great. Um, and and yeah. I think and, and what I think he has a time element in his head. And he thinks, well, I'm I'm older, and so how much longer am I going to be able to do? Well, well, you're older too, okay. What well, we well, were all older, you know, and so, but I think he he um, really has a, 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 an attention to getting some things done while he can. And so he's got that in his head, 
And so, so, so he's not going to dilly dally. And so, so don't dilly dally, turn up the volume. I see it working. That's what I see. <laughs> so, yay. Yeah. Yay. You got, we, you got great cheerleaders on your side yeah. here. So yeah, they'll push. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Actually, as a matter of fact, um, Alice has a couple of people that are here that are, have their hand raised. Oh, okay, good. Let's talk to them. Okay, let's go to uh, how was it? Sher Shari Hillman. Hopefully, I sped, spelled that right or said it right. <laughs> Hi, Shari. Yes, it's Shari. How are you? Hi. Hey. Very how good, are you? Good. Good. Very I good. Love I love your space you're in. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm in Hawaii. Oh, I knew it was something like that. I don't know where you were, but I could feel the energy. It's like, whoa, you know, uh, it's very nice. Very, very nice. And so what's your question? Thank what's you. your question? Well, um, I, uh, I've i had issues with my left breast like the last, I don't know, probably like 10 years. Right. But backstory. Anyways. I just have a lot of fear of cancer and also uh, fear of doctors, fear of the medical industry and all of that. And I would just like to get it clear. Okay. And that's easy. Clear. Well, with your fear, see, you know, I, I wish I didn't tell you this, but what you fear, you bring closer. Um, I it, know. You know, and so, <laughs> so uh, when I look inside your breast, when I look at your breast, I see three upside down pyramids. Okay. But they're surrounded by a giant right side up pyramid. So that's healing energy. Okay. Uh, and so I'm just clearing this um, away from you. There's one, two, and there's three. And now I just see you in this giant pyramid. Now look how, see, you got really warm, you got warmer quick, you know? And so I just feel all this light now going through your body. Uh, and so I don't see darkness in your body. I just see light in your body. And so, and so notice how you can breathe better. Yeah. Okay. That means you'll keep breathing. <laughs> so there we go. Keeping breathing is good. And, and so, but I just see, I see a lot of light going through you and I see your breath changing totally. Uh, and so, so I don't see dark energies now. I just see tremendous light energies. And so, uh, and you need to look at yourself like every few days and just clear your energy. And so this is what I say. And when I look around you, you also have some higher selves that are, um, you know, maybe mama traumas. And so, and I'm going to clear those off of you. Uh, where's your mother? Uh, in California. I love my mother. I, I mean, maybe we have, if there's trauma in a, in a way that I don't see perhaps, yeah. but well, I, th I think it's, I are very close I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying you don't love her. You know, I'm not saying I'm not saying you don't love her, but you probably don't want to be her. And and so she is so in love with you uh, that that it is sometimes when people are super close, I see these. Right. And so but it's a, rather than a, in the energy of allow, it's a little bit of an energy of a control. Uh, and so I'm just clearing this off. And and uh, and who would think it? But there we are. Now I see you getting really lighter. I felt all this light and I saw you starting to sweat right then. I saw you starting to shine. Uh, interesting. And so, cause I just see all this light going through you and uh, no, I think, I think she's amazing. Just project all the love in the world to her like you do every day. Uh, but there was a bunch of higher selves that were kind of doing crazy things. And I got those clear <laughs> see, we all, we all have run amok higher selves. And, and so you don't have to be the devil to have a run of milk higher self, uh, you know, it, and so, so you can be the sweetest, nicest person in the world. Uh, but if you're projecting a lot of control because you're doing it because you think it's good, uh, control is control. And so sometimes control is, is the, is of course the opposite of what maybe would be your angelically led direction. And so that's, that's how this is entangling up with you a bit. And so, but now you'll, you'll see things will just feel easier. And so, yeah, I can actually see the control thing, not in a negative way, just like they're, uh, the way that you're a, raised. Yeah. And in a way I could see like the opposite for me where I came in and then like, I have no, like very little boundaries with my kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> little control, you know. but it'd be nice to have the balance. So I can see well, that. 
Well, I think it's I think it's all beautiful because I, I cleared off the negative projections that I saw, and now you you'll feel yourself better. So that's what I see. Good luck with all that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, thank, thank you. So thank you. Thank you. She's beautiful. And, and Patricia and Angela and Alice, you guys look so gorgeous in your video. Aren't they? I want to be <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Aren't they? Patricia's got a new man. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Patricia's like my other mother. Aww. Yeah. My well, she's like my sister. <laughs> You're beautiful too, Sherry. Good luck. Good luck. Good, Good luck. Have fun. Thanks. Aloha. Thanks. <laughs> I was oh, so always have these beautiful artist people and they just, she, they just keep coming. There's like a new one, a new one. And I'm like, how many people do you know? This yes. is really crazy. That's, re that's really, really crazy. Let me look around here. Let me just look and see. Let me talk to Kristen Lingrid. I've got, I feel like she's got some drama. Oh um, yeah. I have her on my list already. I'll push her yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> right, Kristen, unmute yourself. I feel Thank like, you. yeah. Yeah. What's your drama? Hi, what, what kind of drama? What you got going girl? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, whenever I talk to you, we end up going and talking about one topic and I never ask my question. So we'll do a quick of my question and then we'll okay. go over to the topic you always like to talk to, talk to me about. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So my quick question is, so abundance, like I've been, I opened this business. I've been working hard. It's healing. I've got the stone I bought from you, the beautiful big stone that you picked out that matches perfectly. That needs yes. so much attention all the time. It has to be in the center of the room, healing everyone that comes in. And I'm going to work in really hard, but I still can't hire any employees. And so I can feel like diamonds coming down. I can feel abundance, but what's my block? Like, do I have a block? Do I, what, how do I bring it in? <laughs> right here get this one you have to keep on getting gifts okay so, okay so there's a, a beautiful diamond uh white diamond okay mm -hmm. and then i see it coming down with all these white crystals you know there we are there we are there we are but it's a big giant white diamond um and there it goes and it went around you and there and then it multiplied itself and so wow. how does that feel wonderful i hope everybody else got it too wow wow really then warm I, we all can come to your retreats <laughs> there you go feel how hot trust me we all want to yeah, yeah I, mean, I just i feel more than hot i just feel like my whole chest my whole center feels like different like yeah because it is my, and my legs are vibrating yeah there like, yeah you got I feel it. Like this like excited energy there so you're good that that was that was amazing i got all these big gifts like that all this week uh and they they are they're really really powerful uh so now you look like a, a big giant array of diamonds you look a little bit like um um you look like the i am throne actually you look sort of like the i am throne it's <laughs> wow. not I see this all around you. So uh, good luck. You you asked for it and you got it. You asked for abundant gifts and you got them. Okay. So tell us your dirt. Tell us the drama. What are you doing? Who are you I like to talk about my love life. Yeah. And so like, who... Last time we talked on here, we were talking about the guy that you keep saying is my guy for 12 years. So I went ahead, went, tried to be as vulnerable as I could because you said to be vulnerable he's changed but to me he's just not there yet he is not there yet and so now i went out with a guy another guy which i feel really good about so do i yeah he's he's yeah much okay so there's the change me and my okay. happiness yeah. and yeah, no, i like him he's a good guy i like him you know i tell you what when people are are taking their time when they're snoozing these days they're losing and so really, really. And and so because I see your new fella being amazing, uh, he is yeah. like he can almost finish your sentences. He's like that. Really? He he cares. Like he just like the biggest challenge will be with us is that we're both givers. And you know, so that's not a challenge. Cheap, hey, right? hey, yeah. that hey, that's not a challenge. <laughs> that's that's a nice party. Uh when you yeah. when you're with someone and they're a giver, um, I mean. It, you know, and you're a giver. So if it wasn't for takers, givers wouldn't have anything to do. 
Uh, but you get a little tired of takers. And so you're like totally burnt out on this. And so, so the heavens brought you, uh, your angels brought you a, a giver. And so it feels really good. Enjoy. It feels great. It is real is what I heard to tell you. Uh, and so uh, turn up the volume. Don't let the old guy mess it up. And I'm going to clear, clear, clear this new guy too. make sure because we've both been very alone for a long time. But I, okay. the, the way I found him, I believe, is an email thing you sent out years and years ago that I used to get the other guy a long time ago, where you're putting your hand up. And do you remember that one? You're uh, putting I, your hand up and you're like, you know, bring me my the best guy for me or the best partner so for me or whatever. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. And, and that's but, what I did. And that's what, what happened. I actually saw his coloring. Yeah. Well, this is good. So you this helped is... me bring him in. Well, without even knowing it. Hey. Oh, good. I like it when I work a long time ago and, and it works today. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's the reason I tell you, you know, a lot of times when people go into the archives and and we got such a gigantic online library um, uh, at GarySpivey.com. And so if you guys are not in the online club, you have access to that whole library of stuff that is years old, but years amazing. It all works as good now as it did the day we did it. Uh, and and so so if you when you go into that online library, you're never going to ever finish. You're looking at it. There's that much stuff in there, and yep. and so so. But you you uh, you actually reached up and just took the hand of your of your soulmate, and so he's wanting to. You guys are taking a trip. Where are you going? I've only been on one date with him. Like I met him online Facebook dating oh. app, oh, and well, I've he, only been he's on wanting. One. And I he's see. like 10 years younger than me, which normally I would just swipe left on because that so, seems a little young for me, but not it, really. It seemed good. Yeah. Girl, girl, you hooking it up. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I love it. I mean, like hookering it up. Anyway, so this is good. I, I, I like it. I like it. I think you, you need somebody younger who can keep up with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're all right. I deal with all these retired guys and like got to cancel their date because they've got bursitis and yeah like you know. <laughs> no bursitis not today take your young guy and run i love it all and right i was gonna take tell you too because i know you like gin i found this new empress 1908 gin they've oh. got an elderberry and rose gin and they've got a um, butterfly pea flower gin and the butterfly pea flower gin you squeeze a lime in it it turns from blue to to purple it's so cool Email that email, to Michelle. I like it. E My new e favorite. That, email that to Michelle and she'll get me something. Okay. That'd be perfect. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Kristen. We appreciate you. Beautiful. That's good. So I'm getting new Jen. She's got a new man. Life is yeah. good. Good for yeah. her. She's awesome. Everything's <laughs> I'm happy fine. Her. Everything's really fine. Let me talk to Inez with this baby. Look at this baby. Uh, Inez, can you unmute yourself? There we go. No, I'm looking for it, Gary. Sorry. Inez, I N E Z. Oh, I see that. Inez. I don't have her on my yeah. list, but okay. Mm. Yeah, I N E Z. Yep. Hi, right. can you hear me? I, yep. Yeah. You got this little baby spirit. Wow, Michelle, look at that. Hey, You're gonna... This is my granddaughter. So oh, cute. Oh, my God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Oh, you know, when I tapped into this baby, I got really high. I just feel all the <laughs> spiritual gifts around this baby. I get a little bit teary when I tap into this baby. Uh, very healing child. Very healing child. And and it gets a it gets a lot from you as well as from your mother or grandmother, maybe both, you know. And so you guys are just a long line of love bugs. You guys just love, right? You just love. <laughs> Thank it. you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see that. Number <laughs> yeah, I smell I smell food cooking too. What you cooking? Yes, I'm making pizza for my grands. Oh, I can smell it. It smells so good. Isn't that crazy? So can... Yeah. See, I I don't always get to show off that I can actually smell psychically, right? But I can, you know. 
And so, but it's all, it's good for ordering food in restaurants, but, but you, I, I, you're just a, a, a wonderful person. And I just see this big blessing from this baby. Uh, the baby has halos. Uh, sometimes, sometimes children have these beautiful halos that are around their head. And when I look at this baby, I see all these halos and I see these halos now flying out to other people that are looking at the baby, which will enhance the halos of the baby. And of you feel how the top of your head is warm and your yes. ears. You feel yes. that. Yeah. You yes. just got, the, you just got the halo from the baby. Right. And so that's beautiful. Yes. So there you go. Good. You're beautiful. All right. Okay. Who is this? <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> wow. oh wow they're like go Dude. fix pizza quit talking to that man go fix pizza there we are <laughs> all right. I love you. they're all very they're so cute. cute all right blessed, so there blessed. Up. see you soon okay love you girl thank you hey you enjoy your thank halos you. that was thank crazy you. oh i got high from those thank halos Ooh, that was crazy that was nice <laughs> wow <laughs> Mm, I wasn't expect. I didn't know exactly everything I was seeing. I was just seeing all this stuff around this little baby. That was pretty cool. That was <laughs> neat. I feel really high from that. Who are we talking to? Oh, thank you. Um, matter of fact, uh, let me see if he's ready. Okay, no, he's not ready he's yet. Not ready? Okay. That's okay. I have a uh, Stacy Lynn D Moss. Okay. Stacy Lynn D Moss. That's also. You got her, Michelle. Yeah, she's right there. Okay. Sorry. Hi. Hey, girl. Hi, Stacy. Hi, hello. Thank hey. you. Hey, how are you? What is your what is your tattoo? It's it's a big tattoo. What is it? It is. It's um a water dragon and a fire dragon meeting in the flower of life and nice. you know my my inner essence. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, I have the same one. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Oh, so, Where have you been? Yeah. So, so tell me, what's your question? What's your question, honey? Um, well, it's, I guess, first I'll share, I, I share a very similar path to Patricia. Ah. So thank you to her and Alice and the whole gang over there um, for this opportunity as well. And I, I've um, been deepening my patience, my stillness, um, just really, just really being love. Yeah. And um, it's, I've had to re dig really deep in terms of the patience. And now I feel a new season upon me and it feels really exciting. And I just wonder what beauty, joy, adventure you might reflect back to me about this coming time. Okay. All right. Can you be more vague? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what do you really want to know? What I do you really you got well, a man. You got a I man. You like Patricia. There's some interesting um, masculine energy creating some uh, offer, offering some things to me. I'm not sure that that is in alignment. Um, mm. I certainly would love to share more of who and what I am, um, but in it's. Hmm, more through, I, I'm looking to align with those beings who are ready to sit with me in, in that field of pure love and just be and allow that. Oh, that's to, good. But where's the man? Okay. What are you, do you have a fella? I, I wouldn't or, say or, that or, I have, I have a few suitors and I have one that I've been dancing with for seven years on and off. And he came in oh. strong today with, yeah. with um, more clarity and more, sincerity and and a lot of love it's been a really challenging journey with him mm -hmm. um was he drunk I, or was he drunk or on drugs no and in fact he's the only one <laughs> okay who's drunk who's ben. drunk and on, who's drunk and on drugs oh man i mean that could be the one that sort of showed up as my um I mean, the father of my child. Oh, the, that may, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, here's, and, here's, there's here's, several of them. Okay, well, here's what I see. Um, the addictive dimension for you is kryptonite right now. Okay? If you were Superman. In other words, like, this is your, this is your bad mojo. Uh, so you have to run like hell for Maddox right now. 
Okay. Well, that ties into also my son really is struggling with, yeah. with well, I mean, that well, one as well. Okay. Okay. Tell me your son's first name. Heath. H-E-A-T-H. Okay. And so I'm just clearing his uh, addictive dimensions. Um, and um, there we go. Perfect. And so, and, and I, I got to where I can do it that quick and it is hard. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Uh, we have a family member, Travis, who is a, a serious, was, is a serious alcoholic and has uh, died many times and we keep him alive, you know, and uh, hospital visits, unbelievable. Um, and um, anyway, um, and he quit. And, and so this, this addictive dimension that I finally learned how to clear, uh, and I keep on hearing you guys, you know, you guys are sending me all these emails and saying, I quit. Oh my God, I quit. Oh my God, I quit. Oh my God, I quit. Mm. Right. And so I just did that with your son. I cleared him. There we go. But, but, but you got to run like hell from the lovers that are the addicts right now. I like this. I like this one. That's the reason I was, you, 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 you know, you, you have a hard time going to the point of what you really want. You want somebody that's really going to be there. Uh, not some, somebody that's going to be drunk on drugs, crazy out of their mind. And so, so what, you know, I like this new one. This new one feels really good. He's really there. Just be there too. Uh, when you say this new one, the one that I, that I showed that came up today. today, today. Yeah. Okay. Today. I like the today guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And instead of don't beat around the bush, don't be wishy-washy. That'll be hard for you because you're, 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 you know, you're very careful not to overstep boundaries, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Knock the door down, knock the door down. That's what I see. <laughs> and, and, and so, but this feels really good. I like it. And when I said that your feet finally got hot, feel this. I, I, I feel it going all the way down and back up again. Okay. There you go. So all you got to do move forward with that. That feels good. Uh, don't, don't hang out with the alcoholics right now. That's bad. Okay. That's what I see. <laughs> I didn't think I was, but I imagine they're lingering because I know um, they're it. hover. No, they're honey. They're hovering and they'll feel it when you get a real deal. And they're going to come running and mess up the real deal. Like always. I've, I've wondered about that. I've wondered. Yeah, yeah. You wondered why it works that way. Well, see, it works that way. They can feel it when you got a real one coming in yes. and then they show up and they go, Oh, I've had a, you know, rethinking life and I love you now. And you're the only woman I could ever be faithful to drunk. Right. Yes. And, and so but, my align with this person from today, this other particular person like shows up out of nowhere almost every time, every time. See what I'm saying? That thing. Don't <laughs> go for it. OK. Read my psychic lips. Do yes. not go for it. OK. I'm not going for it. <laughs> Good. We got you. We got you. We got Thanks, you. Thanks, right. Jerry. Appreciate no you. Love. Hey, appreciate you. Love Thank you. you. Stacey. <laughs> Thank you. I like her. She's fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't don't go for the the addict right now. Go for the good guy right now. That's not all crazy. Anyway, oh, who we doing? Who we talking Thank to? Thank you, Gary. I have a your friend. I'm getting ready to surprise you. Oh, good. Right. Hey, Mark. <laughs> oh, Mark. How you doing, Mark? Hey, Mark, you go hey, ahead. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, good, good Mark. Good. You're my buddy. Good. How are you? I'm doing good, Gary. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. What's your question? What are you doing? Yeah, not so much a question. I was just listening to you speak. And as you know, I went on a pretty significant business trip last week. And uh, when I had some downtime on these trips, I happened to go by uh, St. Michael's Church. Uh, wow. Yeah. Now, imagine that, right? And actually, before I even flew town, I ordered a couple of uh, statues for St. Michael's because uh, based on our, our speaking about him as a guardian angel. And uh, I get on this call and I hear you guys talking about that. The first church was just fantastic. Just felt really warm, like I was supposed to be there. Got the chance to be there and pray and meditate for a bit. The second one, when I walked in, I felt the trepidation of even walking as though it has been a church under under attack, right? And mm -hmm. uh, I still went in and, and did what I had to do there, right? But I felt it was different. And one of the folks that were with me, felt the exact same thing after we spoke about it, right? I said, I didn't like that church. So I said, hey, you know, it's not the church. It's just under attack. And it's okay, though, right? Because God's there. 
And mm-hmm. and uh, when you bring it up today, that I decided that I'll send Michelle uh, some photos of the two statues I bought even prior to my trip, not knowing I'm going to find a St. Michael's Church there, and not knowing we're going to have this conversation. So I just thought it was just very intriguing that it came up today. That's all. So no questions, just that. Oh, just just the synchronicity of St. Michael's Church. Well, the angel Michael is so prevalent around people who are uh, fighters, and and so you are. Uh, a, a, you know, I know a very serious businessman and, and you're a fighter for good stuff and you're a fighter for good people and you're a fighter for family. You're, you know, you're, you, you fight for all the reasons I wish I was that good. Right. And, and so, and so that's really who you are is my opinion. Um, and, um, and, and that is, uh, uh, and so the angel Michael for people who are real spiritual warriors these days is, you know, the angel Michael is, is the head of heaven's army. He's the archangel that's the head of heaven's army. Uh, and so what happens is now there's actually a heaven's army on this side. And many times when I, when I read people for the first time, the first time I read you, I, I heard you were one of Michael's. Okay. Uh, and so that's the reason you feel this c- a close of, you know, uh, affinity, uh, for the, for the angel, Michael, for, for St. Michael, for, for all the different, anything, you know, with the Michael stuff. And so, but, but it, it's really quite amazing. And the more you're around the relics and things in these churches, uh, the more gifts you get. And so I, I think that's beautiful. I think it's great. I think it's great. You know, so keep on fighting, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll do Oh, perfect. Good to talk to you. Good to see you. I see, Likewise. you know, what's really, oh, you know, what's so crazy with the, the little baby a minute ago, I see all these halos going around your head that came from that little baby. That was okay, crazy. Exactly. I will receive that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank I see you. all these halos. I, I just saw them go rolling down to your head. And so they came sometimes spiritual. Just, I mean, they come through, you never know where they're coming from, uh, but it came through that little baby that was on a minute ago. That's crazy. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you to hey, the baby, the mom, hey, and the dad. All that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was crazy. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. So, Thank you, Mark. So, so that's Love you know the photos. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, I think you like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate. I I appreciate you know people that are aware of who they are. I think that's really important to be aware if you're a spiritual warrior uh, on this side. I think it's really uh, great when you know your uh, love bug grandmother like Inez in this baby. This baby's got me hypnotized. Uh, and so, uh, but I think that's just beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me talk to my my girl, Gail Fitzsimmons. Let me talk to yeah. Gail for a second. Yeah. I want to see how she's doing. All right, Gail, please unmute yeah. yourself. Hi, Gail. Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, girl. How are you? I see a lot of light. I see a lot of crazy light in you. I see lots and lots of light. How? Good. When you gave Richard that diamond, I it took my breath away. It was wow. Just, it was just like I just went. <gasps> it was crazy. It felt great. <laughs> wow. That's good. That's good. What I just see all this light inside of you. Uh, I see beautiful healing energy inside of you. I see all the darkness going away. Um, you know, and, and, and Gil's been battling stage four cancer. And and so, and how we doing? How's the diagnosis um, going? This coming Thursday, I have my last uh, chemo before the last CT to determine when I get my surgery. So I feel great. I mean, um, just other than trying to get my energy level back up. Um, physically, I feel good. I, I see the little, the little thing that was a, you know, a live cancer looking like a raisin. Good. And so I don't know if they told you that, but that's what it uh, looks like. Tuesday I'm having, I've had a um, kidney stent in since uh, March that they've had, they replace the only last a few months. So they replace it and Tuesday they're taking it out. They said, I don't need it anymore. So that right. was telling me that the tumor is not pressing against the kidney anymore, that they can get rid of that before the surgery. So I took that as a really good sign. And it looks like a raisin <laughs> so, yeah. it's like, and I don't feel life in it. So that's beautiful. Awesome. It's beautiful. Well, I just wanted to say I love you. Thank you. That's- I love you too. Thank you for everything. Right. Yeah. Sending Feel you great. all the healing, all the healing energy I can. Love you all. <laughs> Thank you. Send send her all the healing energy. Send Gail all the healing energy you can send her. 
There we go. Good luck, girl. I love you. I love you. Oh, better, better, you. better. Tell Trevor, you. tell Trevor your dog hi. <laughs> I will do that. Yes. <laughs> I'll see him uh, soon. Good. Now feel your back get hot. Yes. <laughs> good. There we go. All right. Thank you. Good. Love you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's good. That's oh, good. Her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nothing not to love. I know. There we go. You know, and you, and you guys, you got to realize that you can really help each other. You can, you know, you just project healing energy. And so uh, there's always a tear with healing energy. That's how it works. And, and so you can't heal without a tear. It's just part of the process. And so there we go. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. Can I get Victor and Vanessa? You, on? you picked who I had in my head. <laughs> That's because I'm face. psychic, Gary. <laughs> hey, Victor. Thank I'm, you. I'm staring you at his face. I was looking <laughs> at you when she picked you. That's crazy. Hey, so. You miss you guys. <laughs> you guys. Hey, guys. Doing? You guys are beautiful. What you doing? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. Well, it's our anniversary weekend, so we're uh, doing some celebration. Yeah. Monday, 9-11. Oh, so, well, I, I knew there was something beautiful going on. I can just feel it. And you look great. You look excited, yeah. fun, in love. Look at that. Yes. Love, love is in the air. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. That's good. That's good. What's your question? What's going on? So, What's your... Well, I wanted to ask um, my friend Angel. He passed away yesterday about 9.15. And, <clears throat> you know, it was tough. He was He was battling cancer for some time and you know we tried and tried and projected as much healing and I'm, I'm i know the doctors tried but he just was going downhill but he passed yesterday and i just wanted to see if you know if he's going through a transition i'd hate for him to be stuck you okay. know here on earth still yeah um <laughs> he he was a funny one right he had yeah. a great sense of humor. He's tapping it out. He's doing a little tap dance in heaven. Oh yeah. Great. Yeah. And so he's, uh, uh, he said he's tapping, he's tapping one out on God's marble floors. Oh, uh, nice. So he's in a beautiful part of heaven. Um, where I'm trying to figure out which heaven he's in. Uh, let me give me a minute. Let me back away so I can see it. Uh, oh, Okay. He's in the second heaven. The second heaven is really, it's kind of, it's the heaven that I always hung out in all the time. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I hang out, a lot of times I'm in Zion heaven, but uh, but I hung out in, in the second heaven, which is a really beautiful, amazing, happy heaven. Uh, and it, it looks like the Disney castle, frankly. Oh, and, okay, yeah. And, and so, but that's where I see him. And so now you can see it. Now that I told you about it, you can see it in your mm -hmm. head. See yes. it in your head? Uh, yes. And so, and so now then you see him just dancing around. Um, and so for him to make it to that spot must, I mean, it means he's an amazing person, right? Yes, and so, he was. And, yeah. And, and so, so he's in this second heaven, uh, he's laughing. And if you look in the background, God's walking down the hallway, walking to him. Uh, and I see God give him, giving him a hug and a kiss. And so there. Yeah, that's good. And he said he got, oh, he's telling me he got that high because of you guys. So you guys were trying to get him to the light. He said, yes, I was. Okay. Well, you got him to the good light. You actually got him all the way to the, to the, the, the second heaven is one of the coolest heavens. It really, really is. Yeah. And, and, and so he, it, it, and he's just there hanging out with God, um, living a, a very loving love bug existence. You know, um, he's with a grandfather or father. I don't know who, if you know who that is to him, but he's yeah. with, that, he's with that person. That's what I see. Yeah. And he so, must be a grandfather. Cause his father's still alive. Yeah. His grandfather. And so, but his yeah. grandfather was really a, a, somebody who took care of everybody. And so okay. if you ask you, they'll tell you that. And, and, uh, but he's with him and he's good. He said, he loves you. Um, uh, he says, uh, he, you were his friend on earth that got it. You know, he's like, you're the one. And so, and he said, one, one, you're the one that got it, you know, yeah. and, or got, or got him understood him. And so, and he appreciates you for that. And so he's yeah. like that. And he's got a dog with him. 
Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. He was a dog lover. Yes. Yeah. So he's got this cool dog with him. It was his best dog ever. And so he's oh. got him. With him. And he said, he says, you know, I'm in my heaven. <laughs> yeah. What's the, uh, the, the, the dog's name? Can you ask? Oh. I'm trying to get it in my head. It said regular dog's name. You know, like a Rex or, a, or, or, or what was the dog's name? Do you know? No, um, I don't know if he named, he had a dog named AJ, but I don't know if he, uh, yeah. named him the same. No, this is a different, this is a different dog. It was, this was yeah, a dog. He had a different one. I ask, I think it's something as simple as Rex. <laughs> it's like uh, a dog. Uh, it's like a yeah. dog's what you think a dog's name would be, which okay. sounds like a it sounds like I made it up, but I didn't. What's your Spot. dog's name? What? Spot? <laughs> no. No, but something like I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it out of him. It doesn't translate right, but I think it's like oh. a whatever the regular dog's name is, you know, that. Okay. You know, you know, that's what I see. <laughs> All right. So, and so um I, I did want to ask because I wasn't sure if it was too soon. What? What? How long is a normal transition? The, he's out of transition. Like, he's not even no, in. But, the, but for no, r people normally, when there's no pass. such there, well, here's the crazy answer: is no such thing. Oh, okay. uh, it's very different for every person. Uh, if you're sick a long time before you die, uh, then chances are you're going to be um, uh, in transition for a while. Um, that's what I've noticed, but, but there's no, there's no rule of thumb. I mean, really, uh, he is not in transition. He's in regular heaven and in a really right. good, he's in a good spot in regular heaven. Yeah. And, and so, so, um, he's not in transition. I don't think he even went, maybe he just kind of went to heaven. And, um, well, so, good. so you, you got him to a high, high spot. Well, good. We're going to miss him very much. He was a really good person and his family. Uh, I, I pray for healing for them right now so yeah. that, you know, they may get through all these, you know, hard times. Yeah. Well, but, he's, uh, uh, he's yeah. kicking them. He's kicking them down light. I see it in gold. And so I hope that helps. There oh, we that's are. Good. That's good. Now, Dang. You, thank you. Happy yeah. anniversary to you guys. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Our condolences well, you, to Christina. Yeah. You had one, you had one more thing. What's your thing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no. I was just going to say, if you see anything with us, maybe that we need to clear or anything messing with us. Cause, or especially me, I've been having some crazy stuff going on. I had some really, uh, I was trying to go up and I think I went up too far and then I got attacked really, really bad. And so it took me a while to clear that. But every so yeah, often, go higher. Okay. If you if you go up and you get clobbered, right? Mm -hmm. You I see where you were. You were above the Milky Way, where all the activity is going on right now. Uh, yeah. This is the addictive dimension, as well as a lot of mm -hmm. other negative dimensions. Mm -hmm. Keep on going higher. Go higher. Zion Heaven is higher, but you will just go higher and to where the the big black dark whatever it is is beating you up. Um, most of the time it's the, I'm not demon, but when you go, go higher and it becomes smaller and then use your gifts and clear it. And that's all you gotta do. Okay. okay. There right. you are. I, I just cleared it though. Your head, that's the reason your head's hot behind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you can feel it. There we go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Oh. And she's beautiful. I know she's a beautiful. I love her. <laughs> beautiful. So Vanessa. Uh -huh. okay. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. I've got Pam Cobb. Okay. Pam Cobb. Thank you. Hi, Hi Gary. Hi. Thank hey. you for, for choosing me. Um, so Gary, I have my best friend who was my guru, kind of got me into spirituality and taught me a whole bunch of stuff. Her son um, turned 43 on August the 7th. He is an EMT in Maui, and they just declared him confirmed him dead through DNA on September the 2nd. So of course my friend and her husband and their children are devastated. My friend, Jackie, she, um, she knows that he's with God, but I was wondering if you could maybe contact Tony Simpson and see if there's any messages for his family, because her gifts are kind of turned off right now because of her, you know, 
Mm -hmm. She has a mushy brain right now. So I was wondering if you could see if he, how, how he's doing because um, I had that he was like locked in a, was kind of stuck in a cave, but he, he is an EMT. So he is probably helping people during that devastation in Maui on August the 8th. Well, I wish I could make this a beautiful call, but here's what, it'll be a beautiful call, but he's earthbound. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and so he he is he he died in tremendous fear mm -hmm. because he realized, oh my God, I'm stuck, I'm trapped, I'm gonna die. Yeah. And he was helping other people, and so yeah. that's what what the deal is. And so let let me just I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm not Thank gonna you. think. Gonna about, to the light. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna you. I'm not gonna think about what anybody sees with me doing. I'm just gonna get this okay. guy out of there. I want you to help me. That was yeah. say his name. Do you know his name? Yes, Tony Simpson. One more time. Tony Simpson. Tell him who you are in relation. Tony, I, I'm one of your mom's best friends. I'm one say of your, your mom's best friends. My name is Pam say, Cobb. Say, say, say the mother's name. Jackie. Jackie needs you to go to the light. And so that does works. your dad, okay. Tom. Okay, that worked. Okay, tell him to walk up those steps. Walk up those steps, Tony. Walk them up. Okay. Hey, walk, up, have... walk, walk up those white steps. Walk up those white steps, Tony. Hang Walk up, up the white steps. There he goes. There he's above. It. There we go. There we go. Now step into the light. Step into the light, Tony. Step into the light. There he goes. And there we go. And there thank we go. You. Yeah. Look how hot you got. You got really warm. Feel it? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you, honey. Thank you for helping him. I mean, there's so many of them like that. I mean, I've been in other groups that we've okay. been working trying to. Okay. Let's, let's yeah. look. Okay. 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 People in Maui that are stuck or hung on in the earthbound plane, okay? Mm -hmm. And so now I'm backing away, and I'm seeing all these beams of light coming down. Mm -hmm. There. 47 more. Okay. There we go. Wow. Mm -hmm. How quiet's your head? Yeah. My heart's very full. Thank you. There we go. Good. You did, you did everybody a big deal there. There we go. There we go. Good. That's our mission, right? <laughs> hey, that's what we do. We straighten that's out what messes. We do. <laughs> that's what we do. We straighten out messes. And so there we go. But he's going to be better. I feel so much better from doing that. Oh, my yeah. God. I feel good. That made me feel good. You feel good, Michelle? That's yeah, a crazy that good. Video. Can, can wow. I, I, I have a quick question. Um, I did okay. an emotional body code healing session with somebody because I've been having problems with my uh, parathyroid and my adrenals and all kinds of stuff. So she found, we did a little past life thing and she found um, ancestral packets of homelessness on my adrenals. It was kind of interesting. I've never even thought about that. So I'm just bringing it up to you. Well, a lot of, a lot of times when you start to clear stuff and you have people clearing previous life things, you'll find all kinds of things that you don't yeah. know anything about. Yeah. But I attached oh. the organs and stuff. I was just like, really, I went, wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> when I look at, when I look your what's going on now to uh -huh. that's affecting your adrenals, your thyroid, everything, mm -hmm. uh, it's really your pituitary. Okay. Uh, and so I'm reaching in and I'm pulling all the darkness off your pituitary. Feel how your head got hot inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There. I just took it. And it there was a certain demon in there. It looked like a bat. And and I just pulled it out of your head. Now, how's your head feel? That's weird, right? Feel that? Yeah. That's, yeah but thank you. Yeah. It got hot. See? Inside. Yeah. 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 You'll be all right. Anyway. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for right. helping Tony. I appreciate it. Love you. That was, that was you, beautiful. You. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that was, we appreciate you. That was powerful, yeah. Gary. Good job. That really was powerful. That was really so awesome. amazing. Good job to God, heaven, all the angels. Uh, there's, there's angels that come and get people when they're earthbound. Uh, these angels are just on duty. You know, and, and these angels will come down and and get people that are stuck, hung up, whatever. Uh, but a lot of times it really takes a nudge from you guys. So you guys are able to do this. And and I'm not the only, you know, Mohegan that could do this. You guys can do it too. Uh, all you got to do is just ask for the angels to come and help with your earthbound spirit. And then talk to the spirit and talk them into Stepping into the light, make them aware that they need to, because see, they're hung in the moment of death. Many times it's fearful. In this guy's case, this was, he was hung in fear. 
And I mean, who wouldn't be afraid if you saw all these flames and things and stuff coming at you, right? And so, so, but now, I mean, we really, you know, helped out not only him, but a bunch of other people, 40 some people. And so that's a, that's a big deal. That's beautiful. I get really Thank hot you. talking about that. Ooh, yeah. that feels good. Feels so yeah. good. Who are we, who are we job, talking to? Thank you, Gary. Um, I've yeah. got Rachel Buck. Uh, she's been waiting oh, as well. So Rachel, thank you for friend. being so patient, Rachel. Hey, hey, Rachel, how are you, my friend? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. What's your question, honey? Um, so my sister, I just found out um, she's an addict and um, that she's been homeless for about a month. Okay. And um, she lost her job because she was going in drunk. And I didn't realize it was this bad. I actually had to cut her off years ago. Actually, she cut me off. But um, well, let me let me let me do? say. Yeah, let me say something about drunks cut you off. OK, you know, yeah. here's the. <clears throat> here's the things, you know, here's the thing you were, you were being very honest and you said, well, I didn't cut her off. She cut me off. Um, drunks, addicts, addicts, many times will cut off the people that help them the most that they love the most. They, their energy field is so low that they cannot take the light of someone trying to help that's loving them. And so they will just spin out. I call it spinning out. They'll just blow out. And that's just what they do. So, and then that freaks out the person that is trying to help because they think they've done something wrong and you think yeah. you're the bad guy. So you, you weren't the bad guy. And she just done that thing that addicts do. Uh, but I yeah. can help her. I can help her. You just got to tell me your first name. That's all you got to do. Her name is Liz or Elizabeth. Okay. Let me look at her. Okay. Oh yeah. She's loaded. There we go. She's doing more than alcohol. Yeah, I don't know. She if... is. Yeah. And so yeah. she's doing some serious drugs and, and so, and I'm clearing all that off of her and now I'm going to the bigger dimension. I cleared it off of her physical body. She's around a bunch of idiots. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And so, yeah. yeah clearing off the idiots that are around her. So she maybe will escape that. Uh, and now I'm clearing off. I'm going up. Oh, well, I'm going above the Milky way and I'm going way above it. And now I'm clearing off all this darkness of which she has an ocean of darkness. Uh, uh, these demons that she has around her mean business. They're trying to kill her. Okay. And so, and there, and okay. I just, cleared, and I cleared all, I killed all of them and cleared all of them. And now look how you feel. Really, you. You're all tingly, crazy feeling inside. You see, you feel all Thank that. You. Now you got really super hot. And so that's because I just got her. All, yeah. I got her all lit back up. See, it's really easy to work through you because you're so spiritually gifted that I can clear you. I mean, I read you many times and you're a really super spiritually gifted <laughs> human being and Thank so you. so you're a very good conduit so i could do my big magic on her because of you so i i could go through you and clear that and so Thank so you. now she she looks way better um okay then i see somebody <sighs> i see somebody around her helping her a lot does she have a daughter a younger who is the other person no children she has um so my dad, I called him today um, because he wasn't aware um, of everything. And so um, I called my dad and um, my daughters sometimes, uh, sometimes talk to her. I think it's um, them. I think it's, I think it's okay. your, I think, I think it's, I think it's one of your daughters. Maybe you're younger, but, or maybe the, old, I can't tell which one, but I see it's okay. actually that, that one of them is going to make a difference in her life. So if, if you can make them know about this, they'll go help. That's what I see. They're actually and, the ones who told me. Oh, okay. Um, well, they're going to, they're going to help. Okay. They're going to help. Okay. That's what I see. And, and okay. they'll make, they'll make the difference. That's what I see. Okay. Do you know how? Yeah. They're just going to talk to her and let them, let her okay. know that somebody loves her. You know, Aww. they, she needs a friend. And so there we are. So, but I see it okay. working really, really well. Tell them to, to step up there and that'll okay. help. Okay. So oh, you got, okay. when I, when I told you to tell yes. them, to step up. So look how hot you got. See? Okay. Yeah. okay. So it's really you initiating it, but the daughters are, they're living closer to her. Does that make sense? 
Yes, they just moved to Minnesota. So yeah. Okay, so they live close to her. You don't. And live she close- wants to. No, I don't. I live in California, but she wants to go visit them. Do and, it. And okay, so yeah. that's a good thing. Okay. They'll they'll save her life. That's important. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. Thank so there you. we go. Okay. So my daughter just um she got her car stolen last night. Oh. Um, they'll find it. But it's, it's, think, oh, they're gonna find it <laughs> tomorrow. I think they'll find it tomorrow. The next day, it's gonna real quick. Yeah. Okay. There I've been go. sending it light. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. There it is. You see now. Okay. See, you, that's the way it works. See, when somebody, you know, if you get a car stole or if you or if you lose something, um, light it up, and it'll come back. And see, so you already lit it up. It just I, I saw it already on its way back. So okay. it wasn't oh, for me good. to do it. You already did it. You already did Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, thanks, honey. I love you. Take care. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. That was beautiful. Awesome. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, that was good. Who are we talking to? Thank you. I got Scott. Scott Rumba. Thank you so much for being hey, so Scott. patient. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Hi, Gary. How you doing? Good. Really good, Scott. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, yeah. But I, I got two questions. But the first one, the more important one, is actually around my oldest daughter, Lauren. Okay. So she's um, she's. Uh, of my three kids, she's been one that's been the most challenging, you know, since for like the last decade or so, she's turned 27. She's been making some um, not good life choices and getting herself in trouble. She's had some um, uh, really risky situations happen. She's She's been using uh, drugs, I believe, uh, as well. So I was wondering if you could uh, help clear her energy and, and see if yeah, she's got I, things. I, I'll tell you what she's got. <clears throat> she's got rage demons. Mm-hmm. I'm clearing them. Um, she's got anger demons as well. Anger and rage is the same sort of, but a little different. Um, she's uh, got I'm not demons. Um, and um, I'm just peeling all this junk off of her. Uh, and I'm getting to the dimensions of addiction. Um, and I'm clearing. She's got six blobs. Uh, with tentacles going inside of her body, um, destroying it. And on, on both sides, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. I cleared all those. Uh, and now I'm going up to the big Milky Way dimension, and I'm going way high, clearing a ton of I'm not demons, where she's not feeling her I am, so she has no magic at all. When you guys don't feel your I am energy, you have no magic. Mm-hmm. So you have to be, I am. So you would, you would run around all day long screaming, I am, and be yourself, be your true you. Don't be somebody else in your movie, be your true self. And so, but I just cleared her. And um, right then I heard I saved her life. I really heard that. And so you felt that big shift. I saw you move because you felt yeah, like, a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah but I, I, I actually, the angel said, yeah, the angel said you saved her life. Okay. So sometimes when you clear off darkness, the darkness is so overwhelming, it will kill the person. Mm-hmm. And so you love your daughter. You want her to live. You want her to be happy. And so, and so do I. And so we're one on that. And so when, when we're one, one things happen. So there she goes. And so now then I saw all the dark energies leave her and I saw those big dimensions explode. Uh, And so just like with all the different people that have this addictive dimension, killing them, um, you know, as it was the same thing with uh, uh, Travis, who is our family member, who is, it was going through this for many, many years uh, and he's normal. You know, he's very happy, you know, and uh, living with his mom in Minnesota, doing really, really well and his brother and 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 being very happy working every day, you know, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day uh, and normal, Uh, not with all this addiction and sanity. You know, it's almost like a different person when I talk to. And so and so I I wish the same exact thing for you and her. Um, I cleared the demons. Let's see how the angels take hold and make it happen. Yeah. And so, cause they can really do it in strange ways, but, but it's, it's, it's important, you know, that just to, to kind of, you know, be around once it settles to pick some pieces up. 
you know. Yeah, yeah. And she recently went through some uh, some trauma, and she was for a while. She was she was more introspective and willing to help about getting uh, talk about getting help, and and then she kind of went back into her old ways and like ignoring things. And is um, well, she's got she's got one idiot she hangs out with, right? I, I, I believe more than one. Um, so. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I see one that's really, really negative for her, but I just, I'm just clearing all this away and I see her going higher now. Oh, and so, so, so it looks better. Check back in though. Okay. Definitely. And then it, if I could ask real quickly, so I've got um, a couple of businesses on the side of starting one is called uh, ox partners. And then another one I'm starting um, up for uh, doing some other product development. What do you see in terms of when the success will start happening with, with those businesses? Uh, well, those? I actually hear they're both good. You heard good news on one last week or something. Does that make any sense? Uh, well, we're, I'd say a step forward. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That thing. Yeah. Okay. That feels good. And it'll continue to just crank right along. I feel good about it. What's about the timing in terms of when the, the finances start rolling in on that one? about a month wow yeah so there's really good stuff happening uh involves a little bit of a trip for you but it works out and mm -hmm. so okay. makes sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay Great. good yeah looks good all right Great. thank you scott you, need, you think i need to clear here i already did i did awesome. thanks thank <laughs> yeah. you so much gary appreciate Once, it so much yeah appreciate you guys thank appreciate you. it thank thanks you. scott thank good luck to your daughter it's tough, you know, when you love people and they're going through crazy things and they're damn, you know, crazy, you you, you want to you want them to be okay. You really do. Uh, and so when you realize that your spiritual gifts are are really so big these days, guys, that you can actually clear that with people, that's an important thing to realize. It really is. And so you can help out a lot of people that way, a lot of folks that way, wherever they are, where they could be a person that's stuck in Maui in an earthbound dimension because they were trying to do some good and help people. And or you can uh, you can actually free up a family member that's hung with addiction. Addiction is hell. It really, truly is. And so you want to be able to to get through that and, and push through that and help people uh, when they need it. Uh, it, it's, it's a tough one, but you can do it. You can do it. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. I've got David. David, thank you for being so patient. Hey, David. Oh, go ahead and unmute yourself. Thank you. Here he is. Hi, there David. we go. Hey, David. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's going on? Hey. I'm doing, good. I, I'm doing good. Um, I just, my main question today is, uh, my friend, Rachel, I haven't heard from her in a while. And my other uh, friend was trying to reach out to her and we haven't heard from her. I know she goes through these phases of getting fevers because she's dealing with, uh, she was a 9-11 a first responder and she's been dealing with the toxins for the last 20 years. So I just want to see if she's okay, if there's anything you can clear for her today to make her yeah. feel a little I bit better. Her. I, I see her with, she's in good hands. She's with some friend that's taking care of her, mm -hmm. right? And so I see her in good hands. Um, and I feel her to be safe, but she's just not paying attention to the rest of the world right now. Uh, and I think she, this is not uncommon, like you said, for her. Uh, so she'll pop back up, you know, but she's alive. She's, you know, she's not dead or anything. She's alive. And I see her uh, with the, a good friend hanging out, doing well, um, but just healing. And so I, I cleared her off, you know, I cleared her off. And a lot of the first responders with 9-11 got really some super toxic stuff. Um, I, I read a lot of those guys. And so I was doing a, a dur during the time of that, I was doing some radio shows in New York City. Um, mm -hmm. And so I was the guy and many times people would call me to figure it out, you know. And so so I read a lot of that. And and so but I, I um, you know, I'm just clearing clearing everything I can see with her and so you did her really good you see how you feel warm inside yes all, all the way to a bone level you can feel yes. weird right yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah you can feel your bones warm your arm bones are warm and mm -hmm. and so that's because you did her really good because you really want her to be okay uh and she she needed that type of healing and so there we are and it just worked the light worked itself out and so you did really really good with that 
And so you. you're, you're quite an amazing, no, thank you. You're an amazing person. You actually project a lot of light and a lot of love to a lot of people. Do you know that? Do you try to do that? That's your normal week? Yes. I, I, yeah, I'm, um, I'm an air force veteran and, um, I'm in recovery from depression and my main, uh, occupation right now is peer support specialist. So I use my lived experience with, uh, mental health to help other people in recovery. That's I, I see you helping people all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, but here's the thing I'm helping you. I'm pulling all the darkness out of your head, out of your being, out of your higher selves, out of your hell dimensions. Any pro- post uh, traumatic things is would be in these hell dimensions. I'm fixing all of those. You had 16 of them that were out there. I just got rid of them. <laughs> now you, now you have none of them. You know, you had 16 out of a possible 64. Now Oof. you don't have those. Now look how light you feel. Uh, I feel lighter right. in the head where most of where most of my heaviness is. Right. Yeah. But I got rid of all that. You're going to be, yeah. all right. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to be really, really, now you feel really hot in your body. Feel your body. Mm-hmm. I do. Good. Good. You're a sweetheart. You're a special person. Just be you play yourself in the movie. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Thank all you. Right. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> hey, good luck. I see lots of angels moving into you. All kinds of, you have like bands of angels coming in. That's crazy. Yeah. Pray for me, please. <laughs> You know, anytime I see these bands of angels, I always tell the person, pray for me, please. You know, pray, for me. Pray, <laughs> pray for Dean too. Straighten him yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Pray. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, Thank good. you, David. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you, buddy. I really do. There we go. That was crazy. That was good. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. I've got Robert Lenovo. Robert, okay. I got him right here, honey. You got him? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Robert. Thanks for being so patient. Hello. Hi, Robert. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, glad, glad to talk to you. What's your question, buddy? Yeah, my question is uh, in regards to an experience I had. Um, the recent jab for the C word virus uh, injured me spiritually. Uh, I just wonder what happened and uh, what I. What can be done about it? Okay, you, you had a recent experience with a job that was negative and it injured, injured you spiritually. The, the vax, the jab. With the jab, Gary, the vaccine. He's talking about the C word, the coronavirus jab vaccine. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I missed. I totally glitched. I didn't want to tell you. What you're <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, here, anytime I see that, what I do, I clear this dimension called the synthetic dimension. Okay. And, and I figured out this when I was trying to heal people that had stuff going on or when I, I had that and I died five times, I had the worst case scenario. And anyway, uh, and I wouldn't have lived if I didn't understand how to clear this synthetic dimension. Um, and it's really funny. The angels told everyone to go get a little white plastic knife and clear this. Right. And so, and, and so, because it's synthetic, it is not in the same dimension that regular demons are in. Uh, So, so anyway, here, I can do it for you. All right. There we go. There we go. Feel your head's warm now and your feet are warm. Feel that? Yeah, I did it. There we go. Uh, One lung I cleared. It was a little weird. Your thyroid was weird. I cleared it. And um, there we go. There. Now you look brilliantly bright. Okay. How do you feel? I feel so great. Yeah. I feel like here. Really warm, right? Yeah. Really, really warm, really light. But you'll be all right. You're going to be okay. Yeah. It's, it's in a weird little hidden dimension called the synthetic dimension, according to God. And, and I can clear that dimension. And so, and, and you guys can too, you know? So, I mean, yeah, come to a spiritual retreat. You're actually spiritually brilliant. You know, and and so you should come to a retreat. You'd learn a lot. You know, a lot of you guys will learn so much uh, if I have my hands, my hands on you for four or five days, where I'm going. Look, do it this way, and 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 so because you 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 are already spiritually gifted, learn how to use your gifts. And so if you learn how to use all your gifts, you'll not only heal yourself, you'll heal a lot of other people. That's what I see. So you're beautiful. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Yeah. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel a lot better now. 
Hope okay. you come to a spiritual retreat. Just call me. <laughs> yeah. Notice how you can breathe. Are you noticing how you can breathe right now? What does that feel like? What does that feel like to breathe? I just, uh, well, feels uh, just more clean. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to put words on this. Yeah, but it's a different feeling of breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can breathe now. Your lungs work. So there we are. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Good luck. Take care. Good luck. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, you Gary. Know. Good job. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Who are we talking to? Thank you so much. We've got Regina. Regina. Oh, I got healed. You know, it's really I crazy. I got, I, I got a lot of you guys got healed when I worked on the, the, this guy that we just worked on. A lot of you guys got healed when I worked on him. This synthetic dimension is the dimension where you catch COVID. COVID's running around again, right? And so this is this is this synthetic dimension where this dark energy will, will slip into your world. And the next thing you know, you're sicker than hell. And so, so, so. A lot of, I get, I'm getting really, really warm from what I just did with this guy here that we just worked on. And, and so, so allow that synthetic dimension to, to clear you. That was a big deal right then because none of us want to get sick, right? You don't want to get sick. And so you can meditate, clear yourself. Uh, and, and like I, I, I said earlier, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual gift. Uh, and and it's really weird when God gave me the spiritual gift to clear this dimension. He gave me a plastic knife. Right? I'm like, okay, well, I'll use a plastic knife. I don't care what you give me. Give me a toothpick. But God, and and I did it, and and it worked. You know, but but this this energy that I cleared off of him, I saw it fly off of most of you. So you want to clear this synthetic dimension? That's where this this is. This is where it slips in and hits you. And so you don't want to do that. Let's see Lisa Berger with her plastic knife in her hands. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Who are we talking to? Who are we talking to guys? So oh, good. Michelle, like Tammy. Tammy. Oh, did oh you good. Hear me? No, okay. she, he didn't hear you. Oh, were we on mute? I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, sorry, Regina's not here, but uh, I got Tammy. No, oh, good. Tammy. What up? Unmute. Hey, Gary, go. how are you? I'm good. You look like oh. you're doing. You look like you're doing a cooking show. <laughs> I'm yeah. making tacos for dinner. All right. I wish I was there. I would love oh. a taco. I like. I would actually <laughs> like a taco. I'm really. I'm now you got me hung up on tacos in my head. Anyway, and so. so I felt real great last week after our reading, and then this week I've had a really bad uh, week. A lot of bad things um, happened. So I wanted to see if you can just clear me and my household again. There, easy to do. Okay, I did it. What else? Okay, perfect. So I have an exam for a job in right down the street from my house. It's on Wednesday. And I've just started this other job this past week, but I'm going to take time off and do the exam. Do you see that as a really good move or should I not do the exam and stay with the job I'm at? I think I would do it. And I think okay. the job you're at is not bad. Yeah. Not bad, but but I I see a golden diamond road to the exam, and okay. so feel how your feet got warm now. Yes, your feet got. It really would be hot. like a dream job. Yeah. Well, okay, go dream. Okay, you can you can have your heaven on earth. Believe in your heaven on earth, and it'll happen. I I see a golden diamond brick road now. There now you can see it. See it in your head. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, you're going down it, and then at the end, there's a God matrix, which is his sunshine and, and beams. There you are. Okay, there you are. You got it. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah and your I sinuses. Love you. I love you too. Your sinuses open. You feel really warm in your face. I see you starting to sweat a little bit. You know, your back is warm. Your head, you feel all that going on? Yeah. Okay, yeah, stay I'm, I'm warm from head to toe. Yeah, do not let anybody talk you out of it. Don't tell them. Just sneak yeah. and do it. Just keep okay. it. You know, your little secret, that way they won't mojo it, okay? Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Tear it up. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Terry. Good luck. Uh -huh. I love it. I love Thank it when you, you, you know, I, li I like it when you really win. You know, everybody's like, how do I have my heaven on earth? Uh, well, you really win. You go into those things like what she just is going into. This would be my dream. Okay. Do you dream? Do that one. 
check yes on that box, you know, go do your dream. That's important. Uh, and speaking of doing dreams, all you guys call me up for a private reading this week. And I will read you regular reading and then 15 minutes of energy work where I'm going to fix you. This is so important to do this right now. Um, there's different times where all these spiritual gifts are raining down to the planet. This is a time where this is happening. Take advantage of this and call me for a private reading right now. And you can call now 800-827-GARY, 1-800-827-4279. Uh, also, you can leave a message at GarySpivey.com. And uh, Dean is going to answer the phone right now. And and so, and, and I'm also reading people tomorrow on Sunday because I'm seeing you guys moving ahead with leaps and bounds. And this is something I'm so excited about. Uh, and also coming up to the spiritual retreat. If you're not booked for the spiritual retreat, come in person, please. Uh, you can call Michelle right now and you can call her at 702-822-0548, 702 822-0548 or Michelle at GarySpivey.com. And so, but you guys uh, come to the spiritual retreat. Uh, this will absolutely change the rest of your life. And so it's so important to understand how to get your spiritual gifts and then learn how to use them. And so that's what that's all about. Well, I appreciate you guys. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you for tapping into Tapping In. Thank you for joining us tonight here on Tapping In. I appreciate you all the time. I'll be here on Wednesday doing energy clearing on Wednesday for all you guys that are in the online club. If you're not in the online club, all you got to do is go to Gary Spivey dot com and join the online club and so you can join us for our energy clearing we do it every wednesday i appreciate you guys and i love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you do i have anything else michelle that i'm missing i'm probably missing something uh spiritual treat retreat private uh, reading private readings, um uh, energy clearing that's about it <clears throat> yeah uh, master class master class on the 24th Your crystals <laughs> Crystals. Oh yeah, yeah. crystals. Yeah, crystals. Yes. Uh, Zionhealingcrystals.com. Really yeah, Zionhealingcrystals.com. You know, I put together this amazing collection of crystals. As you can see, they're all around. Uh, God told me when I was going through my whole COVID dying experience, he said, I want you to sell crystals. I'm like, God, come on. I don't want to sell rocks. And, and he's like, no, you don't understand. They connect with the highest heaven because Zion heaven is made of all crystals. And so I collected these amazing crystals and I really have fun collecting them, but also I have more fun when I pick them out for you guys. And so if you guys want a crystal and you want me to pick it out for you, go to zionhealingcrystals.com or call the office and uh, I'll be glad to pick you out a crystal. And so a lot of you guys have gotten them already and it, and you, you tell me, oh my God, I got this in my house. My house energy totally changed. And so all these little energetic things really do matter for you. So I appreciate you guys. Call Dean right now. Dean, you answering the phone now? I am. All right. 800-827-GARY. Yep. Call up right now and book a private reading and I'll talk to you. Thanks, guys. I love you.